Hello bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to tell you a little bit about my journey with the Wheel of Time book series. If you don't know, the Wheel of Time book series is my favorite series. I kind of grew up reading it and so it definitely holds a very special place in my heart. I have a lot of nostalgic feelings when it comes to the Wheel of Time series. And it has been on my mind a lot lately because if you somehow don't know, there is a TV show coming out soon. On November 19th, Amazon is going to be releasing the first three episodes of the adaptation of the Wheel of Time series, and I am super excited. As a super fan of the series, I am really excited for the show, and if you're looking for someone who is going to be watching the show with a critical eye, I am not that person. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it, no matter what. I had wanted to do a ton of Wheel of Time content this year leading up to the release of the show. I had planned to start a reread of the series earlier this year, but unfortunately life just had other plans for me. I recently had a baby and I also have like a really big medical procedure coming up in early November and I just haven't been able to do all of the Wheel of Time content that I wanted to. But I will be doing more Wheel of Time content over the next year or so because not only will I be doing some content around the show like little mini episode reviews, not critical reviews, like I said, but I am also going to finally start a reread of the series. It'll be my first reread of the series since I have completed the series in its entirety, so I'm super excited about that journey. But yeah, that's why I thought I would share a little bit about my history with the Wheel of Time series. So the clip I am about to show you is actually something that I filmed a little over a year ago. I participated in a collaboration that was put together by Rebecca from Reading Pattern, who is a fantastic Wheel of Time content creator. I will have her channel linked below as well as the collaboration that this clip was for, but she basically invited a bunch of other Wheel of Time creators and Wheel of Time fans to send in personal fan stories, and she edited them all together. This was a tribute to Robert Jordan. It was posted on the anniversary of his death. I think it was the 13th anniversary of his death, so in September of 2020. So I filmed this clip for that video. Definitely go check out the original video, which I will have linked down below, because that tribute video brought me to tears the first time I saw it, and I actually just rewatched it before sitting down to film this, and once again, it brought tears to my eyes, it gave me chills. I just loved hearing so many different people talk about how they discovered Wheel of Time and what Wheel of Time means to them. So definitely go check out that video. But I've never shared my history with Wheel of Time or like my Wheel of Time journey with you guys here on my channel, so I wanted to do that now. So here is that video clip. Hello bookworms, my name's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm, which is a booktube channel where I talk about the books that I am reading and have read and want to read. I'm really excited to tell you about how I got into reading The Wheel of Time. My Wheel of Time reading journey goes back almost 20 years, back to when I was in the 8th grade, somewhere around 2001, 2002. I was just getting into reading adult fantasy. I remember often going to the Barnes & Noble near my house. I used to spend hours just browsing the shelves there. I remember picking up the Eye of the World and thinking that the cover looked ridiculous, but I sat down right there on the aisle and I started reading the prologue and I was immediately hooked. From there I went on to read all nine of the books that were out at that time, all the way up to Winter's Heart. Back then I wasn't really into knowing when books were coming out, so I'm pretty sure I missed the release of Crossroads of Twilight, the tenth book in the series, and by the time I realized that it was out, I decided to reread the whole series again. After that I had to wait at least two, maybe three years until the release of Knife of Dreams and I remember spending hours on websites exploring theories and just reading people's posts from the fandom. I definitely was aware of when Knife of Dreams was coming out and before it came out I decided to do another reread and I read the whole series again. A couple years after that in 2007 is when Robert Jordan passed away and I still remember the day that I read that he had passed and I cried. It was the first time I'd ever cried over an author, but the Wheel of Time series had been such a big part of my high school experience and I was just so sad that he had passed away before his time. I graduated high school in 2006 and I won't say I totally forgot about the Wheel of Time, but I definitely 
did not do a lot of fun reading when I was in college. The Gathering Storm, the 12th book in the series, the first one that was written by Brandon Sanderson, came out when I was a senior in college. And the summer after I graduated from undergrad, I decided to reread the whole series again. At this point, I really loved the first half of the series and I loved being able to pick up on so much of the foreshadowing and picking up on the world building details. After I reread the series again and got through The Gathering Storm, I went to graduate school and for another two years I did not do a lot of for fun reading. It wasn't until 2017, long after the series had finally been completed, I decided I wanted to start over and reread the series all the way through to the end. In 2018, I started a read along on my channel along with one of my booktube friends and we read one book a month until we finished the series in April of 2019. The feeling of finally finishing this series that I started almost 20 years ago is indescribable. I had grown to love this world and these characters so much and I really love the way that everything ended. This series has meant so much to me over the years. I grew up reading it and it will always have a special place in my heart. I'm so excited that I have finally finished this series and I can talk spoilers with all of you in the Wheel of Time fandom and watch all of the spoilery videos out there. I cannot wait for the TV show to come out but first I'm going to need to start another reread. Alright guys, there you have it. That is how I discovered Wheel of Time and how I've come to love it over the years. Like I said, I am planning to finally start another reread of the series. It'll be my first one since I have read book 14, so I'm super excited about that. And I definitely would like to do more Wheel of Time content over the next year or so as I reread the series and with the show coming out. So if you're a Wheel of Time fan, you should definitely subscribe and stick around. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. That is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time bookworms, keep reading. Bye.